How's it going guys? Today is a really cool day because I've got my new Herman Miller sail chair, custom made, um, designed and delivered today. So I'm going to be unwrapping it and it comes already pre-assembled so dead cool I can just straight away start uh, using it. So here it is, so this is the Herman Miller sail chair. Now this uh, uh, chair actually starts at the lower end of the Herman Miller budget, which is around 450 to 650 pounds, depending on which spec you actually pick. Now this part, this chair in the Herman Miller range is actually the only chair that you can configure pretty much every option imaginable on this. You can change the color of the fabric, you can change the color of the armrest, how adjustable they are, um, up, down. You can change the color of the backrest, whether it has the rear lumbar support or not. Um, you can change if it's got the adjustable seat pan forward and back. There's pretty much everything you want from an ergonomic office chair slash gaming chair you can get from this. Now obviously, the more things you kind of spec, the more expensive the, the, the chair goes to. Now if you buy from Herman Miller Direct, they start at around 530 pounds and they go upwards all the way up to 650, 675, depending on your options. But you can always um, take advantage of some sales whenever they have them. Typical times like Black Friday or Boxing Day sales, you can tend to find about 15% off any Herman Miller chair at that time. Um, they also have the sale gaming range and all the kind of difference is, is the chair is, uh, itself is exactly the same but they put it in a bit more radical colors that appeal to more kind of a gamer kind of fan base. Now, the chair I've gone for, I actually bought from a site called Well Working and they actually have um, better prices than Herman Miller's uh, website at the time. Um, but of course, check them out and also check out Herman Miller's website because you might find better um, prices at the time depending on if there's a sale going on. Let's have a look at the chair. So the chair itself is called the sails simply because the actual back seat of the uh, chair, the backrest, looks like a sail from a ship. So that's the kind of idea. The designer Yves Bahar took his um, inspiration from um, suspension bridges. And the idea is, is that when you sit on the actual chair, it's meant to give you that feeling of your being suspended, like you kind of get when you're on a hammock and um, it kind of cradles you and wraps around your body um, and conforms to your body as it's, uh, you know, kind of holding you in position, um, which you don't get with a rigid kind of uh, chair, chair back. So the uh, construction of the back is actually made out of like a plasticky rubber material. It's very flexible, um, but it's not, um, it might look uncomfortable, but I can tell you that it's 100% not. It feels really nice. And when you do lean back on it, it really does feel like you're sitting in a hammock and it's kind of cradling you and keeping you in position. It's like, like almost being wrapped by really large hands is when you, you lie down on it. And it's really good. Um, I'd suggest if you're a bit unsure, see if you can drop down to a Herman Miller shop and try one out. Or sometimes they have them in John Lewis, but it's well worth a go. But even if you are kind of uh, jumping on it, Without uh, sitting on one, I don't think you'll be disappointed if you do like the feel of hammocks and that kind of style there. Now, on the back, this is completely optional, but this is a lumbar adjustable support. So you can move this up and down like that, depending on where you want it to support the most of your back. So to be honest, I um, opted to have it, but I don't think it's a 100% necessary thing. The actual uh, the, the hammock, the way it's designed, is it actually goes thicker here to give you lumbar support anyway. So it's not 100% imperative that you have that, but if you do feel that you want some extra support in your lumbar, you can obviously opt to have it in your specification. The back frame is very rigid. It's like a plastic kind of solid black frame. It doesn't feel like it's going anywhere. The build quality is exceptional. You won't find any like horrible bits of plastic hanging off or anything like that. And it does feel like it's gonna be made to last. The armrest can be adjusted multiple different ways. So you've got uh, up and down like that. You've also got forward and backwards. You've also got um, left and right as well, which is really good. The actual armrest itself is made out of like a really thick kind of foamy rubber, um, but to be honest, it's not the most comfortable thing in the world. Like if you've got your elbow 
you know, point leaning on it all, all day long, you might find like it'll start to like ache a bit because it's not right, got like leather padding or anything like that. But to be honest, if you're comparing it to stuff like the um, uh, gaming chairs where they're just like a bit of kind of plastic or AK racing, it's much more ergonomic than that and it's a lot more comfortable. But that's what the whole idea of the sale and Herman Miller's chairs are designed for, ergonomics um, for long periods of sitting and that's where this um, uh, is excels. So the seat pan itself, so it's adjustable forward and back. There's like a little, uh, where is it, on the side here, or is it on this side? Yeah, there's a little adjustable there. You just pull it and you can move it forward and back like that and then it clicks into place. Um, and there is like a little gap here if you have it out a bit you know, where your bum kind of pockets in there. But if you have it pushed all the way back, there is like hardly any gap and you can't really fit anything in there anyway. But I prefer to have it a bit stuck out and um, you know, it makes it a bit easier for where your coccyx sits. So unlike the other Herman Miller chairs, which kind of tend to have um, mesh um, for the seat, the um, Herman Miller sail comes with um, their own kind of foam padding which is actually really really thick as well you can push down in it and um, it really uh, sinks you in and pushes you up as well it's not like a memory foam or anything like that but it is quite firm and that's what you kind of need if you feel like you get a bit of coccyx kind of um, pain when you are sitting on your chair you see uh, the the thing with the mesh ones is they're not really good while they are ergonom ergonomic and they kind of breathe free um, so you get nice airflow underneath your bum. Um, the, uh, they're not really that great on coccyx, it can be quite hard. So if you do feel like you get coccyx pain, then the, uh, the sale's a better option being with that thick padded foam. The foam is really comfortable as well. It doesn't seem like it's gonna wear anytime soon. The good thing I like about the Herman, Herman Miller stuff is that the materials are designed to last. So you're not gonna get any cheap PU levers or you know anything like that in this. It's all like really hard wearing office, uh, you know fabrics um, and you can pick pretty much any color you want I'll show you this kind of swatch seat which gives you an idea of how many colors are available for this sale chair and this is just from well working direct you can pick pretty much any uh, fabric you want from there but you can also spec up the colors on Herman Miller's uh, actual website as well um, so let's have a closer look at the adjustability of the uh, sail chair. So Herman Miller is famous for its world leading in ergonomic office chairs and there's no difference in the Herman Miller sail range. It's actually, you can pretty much change any part of the chair you want to suit your particular seat and style. So first things first is the armrest, fully adjustable. You can move it up and down like that, forward and back, left, right and to get a nice comfortable kind of place. Generally what you want to be is uh, wherever your desk height is, you kind of want to have it in line with your mouse and keyboard kind of like there as well. Now Herman and Miller have got their own video where they explain the kind of best ergonomics. That's all I'd recommend you check that out for your seating position. Um, the seat pan, like I said before, it is adjustable as well. You can bring it front and back. So, you know, if you want to have it a bit further forward or a bit further back, you can do. And then you can have it tucked in behind your legs or a bit further back, whatever you want to do. I kind of tend to have it a bit further out because I find that that's more comfortable. Um, also, on the side here, you've got a, a tension adjustment as well. So you can spin this forward and back. And what that does is it um, increases and decreases the amount of strength that this, the, the lean back function has. So say for example, if I sit on it right now, like this, and I want it to lean back, at the moment it's on its loosest tension and um, it's going all the way back. So, you know, I, I like it quite light so I can just throw myself back dead easy and this is my full weight on it. Um, but the more you tighten that, the more resistance it's gonna give you and kind of push you back, you know, forward. As well, here you've got three-way uh, adjustable on how much recline you actually want. So the, the very first switch, if you have it all the way up like that, gives you zero, well, it gives you a little bit, probably about uh, an inch or two of lean. So when you sit on it right now, it's not letting me lean back anymore. It gives you like about an inch and a half, probably two inches of lean. And that's where you wanna be if you're just kind of working day to day and you know typing away. Um, you've also got a middle position, and what that does is it gives you a little bit more lean, so that gives you probably about 
uh, probably about five to six inches of lean and then it kind of takes you back a little bit more so if you want to just have a bit of a relax for a bit or you know maybe you're sitting back with your gamepad you can do all that kind of jazz and then you've got the last position which gives you all the kind of freedom and that's where it really does feel like that hammock style where it's where the uh, the rear back is kind of holding you in place and it's kind of you know cradling you it's a really nice feeling actually so there is one more adjustable uh, uh, but it's not a recline um, it's an incline so what you do is you put that up and then you push this button down uh, hang on. Or is it up? Yeah, there we go. So you push that one down, and then as you can see, the chair actually is propelling me forward now. So now, uh, that would be the upright, but it's actually linked forward. So the good thing about this is you can literally go like this, backwards and forwards like that. And I do quite like the forward time. If I'm like doing a bit of like typing, you can sit back, have a think about, oh, is that the right equation or whatever, and then go back and then type a bit more and then get on with it. You know, it's really cool to actually like, have that kind of freedom of leaning forward and back and it really you know makes you move a lot more when you're gaming and stuff like that sometimes when i'm playing games you know when you got your pad and then you're like this you're like uh and then you know you want to move yourself around if you you know got the pad or you're playing like a racing game it is a nice feeling to have that kind of freedom of movement and it's really cool otherwise yeah you can just have that turned off and you can just go back to your normal kind of recline or non-recline functions you know, so you have those options. Um, of course, you've got the up and down um, uh, adjustment as well. So if you press this and hold this, it goes all the way down, or you can stand up and it pulls itself all the way up. And that is fully up now as well. So then you can put it on there um, and then you can put yourself down as well. Um, I think there is a weight limit as well um, for this particular chair. It is quite high. I think it's around 100 and like 50 kilograms, but um, unlike the uh, Herman Miller Aeron chair, which you have three different size variants, the Herman Miller Sail only comes in one size for the seat pan. So I'm gonna get out the measuring tape and you can see how wide it is and see if the armrest and stuff is gonna be suitable for you if you're a larger guy. Okay, so here's the seat pan here. So if you want the width of the seat pan, um, you're looking at 50 centimeters wide um, so yeah half a meter wide and then if you want the depth of the seat pan um, you're looking at 46 centimeters deep but bear in mind that obviously where the backrest is um, will kind of protrude in a bit to give you that support so with the backrest and this is in its fully pushed back to the back press position it's 42 centimeters now if you extended this out a bit like that obviously you're going to get a bit more depth there so that takes it to about 50 centimeters from the back of the backrest uh you know that's pushing you out so that's something to bear in mind another thing you want to think about is the gap between the two armrests now when they're fully closed um uh, if i just move the camera up a bit so if they're fully uh, close like this where they're the closest position um, you're looking at a gap of 41 centimeters but if you move them further out like that you're looking at a gap of 49 centimeters okay now I'm going to give you five things that I do not like about the Herman Miller sale now I've had this chair for about three months now so I've, and it's been my everyday chair when I work from home um, or playing games so I've had a lot of experience sitting in this chair so these are the five things that I find annoying that you're never really going to know about unless you actually own this chair number one is the first thing is that because this seat back is made out of rubber um, now you can think that it's a good thing or a bad thing but it is actually quite cold to, to sit back on it as soon as you sit back on it um, especially like a, the cooler um, winter months um, then you can feel that it is cooler now if, if you like that cool kind of feeling then obviously that's a good thing now being all perforated like this with holes in it you know again it's going to add to the cool thing so in summertime it's brilliant but in winter time it is actually quite cold and you'll have to sit in it for a while for obviously your body heat to transfer to the back and then making it warm again but in summertime it's really good so i suppose that's a good and a bad thing it's too cold in winter but it's really cool in summer number two again with the backrest 
It's really comfortable, but one thing about this material is, because it's rubberized, it's got a little bit of a grip to it, okay? Now, it is kind of a smooth rubber, but the grip um, is probably there for, obviously, the reason of, you know, holding you in kind of thing. But one thing that I did find is, when you're wearing, like, a normal T-shirt, like, probably not this because it's a jumper, but when you're wearing a normal T-shirt and you kind of sit down on it like that, it lifts the, it, the, it, the, the, the backrest, obviously, because it's rubber, it grips onto the bottom of your shirt and it actually lifts it up a bit, you know, like, so it kind of pulls it up as you sit down. Um, if you sit in it, you know, with your back rubbing against the backrest, and then obviously you have to kind of lean forward and pull your shirt down again. So that's something you're not really gonna know until you actually start using the chair. Now I've kind of taught myself to not, to kind of sit down on it without having my back right against the seat and then push myself back like that. So to kind of avoid the issue, but you know, that's something I did notice when I first got the chair and I was wearing like t-shirt or something. You sit down and you're like ripping your shirt up and you're like, right, okay, let's put it down and then you can carry on working. So just a bit of an annoyance really. Number three pain point would be cleaning the actual thing. Because of this chair has got all this kind of perforations and stuff like that, these are all little pockets of, uh, you know, uh, points where dust can settle in all these little gaps as well as in the back here, on the back frame, all, all the dust can settle in there as well. If you're a bit of a neat freak like me, then it is quite annoying to go in and clean it. So I've got a duster which has got loads of little like kind of uh, like fluffy like fingers popping out of it and that quite, does quite a good job of cleaning all the, these out. Again, you know, because it's not your conventional kind of chair design, you've got a lot of stuff going on that's quite hard to, you know, clean. So I'd recommend getting a duster that has all these little fingers so you can kind of get in there dead easy and, and clean all the dust out. Um, but that's something to bear in mind. My fourth annoyance would be that the, uh, the armrest, they kind of, they're a bit too easy to move. So you can think of that as a good thing or a bad thing, but I personally, um, what I find is when I'm kind of sitting here and maybe I'm like, um, I don't know, uh, got a controller in my hand or something like that. I can easily like knock it with my elbow and it'll move it out of my preferred position. You see that? How easy it is to just kind of knock out. And like, cause I kind of like having it set like here, kind of like in the middle of the adjustment and then it fits perfectly underneath my desk, the armrest, you know, without causing kind of any issues. It can fit underneath quite well. Um, but like, yeah, you like you can just be like moving around and it'll kind of knock it out of line. One thing I forgot to mention is you can actually twist these uh, left and right as well to give you a bit of like, say if you want it in like that, you can put your elbows in. Um, but I kind of just have them straight. But yeah, you can move them out of your kind of perfect setting a bit too easy in my opinion. I would have preferred it if it had maybe like a, a lock, like so. Once you've got it in the position that you like, you can just like, I don't know, lock it so it didn't like move, you know, all the time whenever you just give it a slight nudge, something to bear in mind. And my fifth point would simply be, again with the armrest, they're a bit too stiff for my liking. I do quite like how it's foam and it's not just plastic like you kind of find on a lot of kind of uh, the gaming racing chairs. Um, I've had a, a, a fabric one before um, that were, uh, had the kind of like leathery kind of PU leather material and they're crap as well because while they're kind of they're more comfier than this but they do kind of get a bit worn over time and they just look rubbish when all the, the leather starts cracking so they're not going to work and then wherever your elbow's been the most they kind of sag down. But I don't really know what the solution is for this. I mean this being foam I thought it would be more comfortable than it is but it is more comfortable than the racing chair style ones not as comfortable as a fabric one but uh, it does feel like it's probably gonna last for quite a while, but it's a bit stiff. So like if you have your elbows out there in a while, you kind of get a little bit of an ache on the ball of your elbow uh, from where it's been the whole time. So you might wanna just give it a rub, you know, after it's been like that for a while and then, and then put it back. So that's something else to bear in mind. But overall, I'm quite happy with it, which makes me go to the five pros of the Herman Miller sale. Number one would be the fact that 
The service level you get when you buy from Herman Miller is second to none. You get like a 10 year guarantee with this chair. So you know it's built to last. And you can see that with the uh, the build quality of the thing. All the components feel solid. You know, even though it's majority of plastic construction, it feels like quality. It doesn't have any nasty like kind of creaks that you kind of get with some other chairs. Um, and the build quality is really good and it gives you that sense of reliability. Customer service is really good as well. Like I say, with that 10 year warranty, if you have any issues, they will actually come out to you um, in their own van um, you know, if they can't repair the chair there and then, then obviously they'll replace it with a new one. It's a no fuss kind of, uh, you know, experience that you get with Herman Miller. Uh, and that's if you buy it from Herman Miller Direct or one of their authorized resellers, such as Well Working or John Lewis, something like that. You really get that 10 year service, build quality, um, and it's something that you just don't get with normal kind of office chairs or furniture companies. Second pro would be the fact that you don't have to do anything when this thing gets delivered. That's the great thing about it. Like this guy came in a van, he dropped off the chair. There was no boxes. It was already wrapped, you know, so there's no dust on it and it was already fully built. So you can just literally pick it up, put it in your office, you know, take off that plastic sheet that's there to stop it from getting dusty and you're good to go. You don't have to mess around with like a fiddly Allen key or the parts and stuff like that and putting the whole thing together. Um, obviously, that kind of price is built into the premium that you pay for a Herman Miller chair, but you're getting again that better level of service and because it's not coming with separate components, I think that adds to the whole build quality and how rigid and how um, strong it does feel when you actually do have it. The third thing would be picking the amount of fabric colors that are available. Cause it's not just fabric colors that you can choose. It's also fabric um, like materials as well. Like you can go for like a velvet or a suede. You can go for like a matte fabric. Um, again, you can choose the colors of the armrest as well to better suit what color you chose for your back or chose for the seat. Um, you know, black, white, blue. Um, I personally gone for the dark kind of blue one here, um, which uh, matches my, you know, Ikea um, uh, Alex drawers in dark blue and the white to match my uh, work top that I've got here, which is in like a white marble. So it's like a level of customization that you don't really have with a lot of uh, brands that you can actually choose and pick what color and what materials your components are. The fourth pro would be, yeah, this back. You know what, it doesn't look like much and it looks like it might be uncomfortable, but it is wicked. You know, just like being able to like move like that because it actually moves with your body and your back. Um, so, you know, you can kind of stretch dead easy. Um, you know, there is no headrest, but to be honest, you don't really need one for ergonomics. That's why they're not built one in. Um, but it is really comfortable in that, you know, you can kind of, you flex around like that and you quite got that freedom of movement and it really does feel like it's wrapping around you as you kind of sit in it like a hammock and that's what i like about it a lot and the last pro of the herman miller sale would be the seat pan i like the seat pan and how thick the foam is it's not thin at all and it it feels like a good quality foam that isn't gonna reduce over time. Like I said, I've sat in this like every day, pretty much for like eight hours a day while I'm working for the past three months. And the shape of the foam is the same as the shape it's always been when I got it brand new. And it feels like a really quality, good seat pan that is gonna last the, obviously at least the 10 years that you have the Herman Miller sale for. And that is pretty much it. So thanks for watching my review of the Herman Miller sale. If you have any uh, questions, then please drop them in the comments below. Um, and of course, please subscribe and like the video if you found it useful, it really helps me out as well. I've got links on where to buy it in the description below where you can um, uh, have a look at the site I bought it from as well as Herman Miller's site. Um, I recommend you check them both out. Um, and yeah, let us know if you want to know anything and please uh, don't forget to subscribe and catch you on the next one.